What is happening guys, Cowboy here, and welcome back to more Quantum Break, and today we're going to be looking at the first episode of the live action show. So for those that don't know, uh, Microsoft basically had a full live action, like real people show made to coincide with the game, uh, depending on the choices you make in the game, that will determine how the show of your game plays out. At least that's my understanding. Um, so either way, this is the very first episode, so I'm going to go on mute, sit back, and enjoy it. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. In the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five, five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. In the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. 
Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I. I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I packed into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, being, huh? She's being very difficult. 
I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. 
Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it. The entire universe gone, and somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your heads, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Ooh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. The end for you. Down! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in?
Thanks, Fiona. Disgusting one. Holy shit. Lambert. Golden boy. Favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, it'd really rather not. But in your office will be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly. <laughs> Clearly, does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. Okay, he 
he's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Pretty good stuff, gotta say. So, uh, Microsoft didn't skimp on budget, <coughs> which is impressive. I do gotta say that that's actually that was actually pretty entertaining to watch. Um, and that's funny because I remember what was it? There was a game. Oh god, what was it? Sci-fi. It was a sci-fi game, um, and it was like an MMO, and they tried to do a show that was influenced by what players were doing in the MMO and like nobody ended up watching it and it kind of bombed but this is actually pretty good I mean so far it's not like you know Game of Thrones good but it's it's entertaining enough so either way guys hope you enjoyed the first part of the live television and uh, with that in mind looking at the schedule I was provided next week I can bring you guys Act 2-1 and then Act 2-2, two, two. Um, like half of Act 2-2, two, two. and then, um, of course, leading up to launch on April 1st, we can bring you the full game. So, either way, I hope you're enjoying it, sit tight, and we'll see you next week with more. <laughs>